Hi everyone. I'm showing you this Dawn soap because I have found a way to get rid of any kind of ants you have on your property using Dawn soap. Let's walk out there and find an ant mound and I'll show you how to apply it. I've already been using this successfully for many, many months. I just got tired of um, trying to shovel them around from here to there because our property is wooded and it's hilly and we have ant mounds clear on one side and the other side and by the time I can make it over there it's hard to get it you know get the ants mixed up together but that does work if you uh, can do that and they're close by but if they're not or even if you want an alternative that's not going to harm your animals let me show you here's an ant mound right there Say the little critters so what you want to do you can use a stick if you want or you can step on them I like to step on them make them all angry then just start pouring the soap around You want to get the whole outer perimeter real good and then you want to go back in the middle. It's kind of hard to do when you're one person doing this one-handed. You don't have to use the whole bottle. But anyways, that's what it looks like. And I'm just using a Kroger generic. You can use a Kroger generic uh, Dawn or you can use the regular Dawn, any kind of Dawn. I've tried it with a few other soaps. It worked all right. But um, I find Dawn works the best. You see where my kids put the hose pipe thing. Okay, so a good idea is to go around and inspect your property. Especially if you know you're fixing to get rain, you can go ahead and spread the soap all around the ant mound. Remember the whole outer perimeter and then work your way back in. Kind of like you're pouring on an icing or on a strudel or something. That's kind of how you want to do just around and then, you know, up and down zigzag patterns. There's really no wrong way to do it other than you want to just make sure you get a little all over the whole mound. And then, since we just had a bunch of rain, and we're not getting any more rain, you can either fill up a water jug, watering can, or you can use your watering hose over here. And you just want to add a little water. See how it suds it up. And then I just leave it. And then I come back later. If there's still any more ants, I'll redo it again. But usually the first time you do it is one and done. So let me turn the camera around. So I'll go show you an ant mound I already did and what it looks like afterwards. I poured this on before we had the rain. And we're at the next ant mound. Okay, that's what I've already done. I'm trying to get my shadow out of the way. But anyway, that's what it looks like. We're all step on it and see if anything comes out of it. As you see, nothing's coming out of it. Not a single ant. Let's walk around, see if there's any more. We didn't have a whole bunch. Usually, they don't come up until after it rains. 
and then you have to go around and this struggle lasts you a while I like it because when you like to let our animals out to free range and they don't bother the soap the dogs don't bother the soap areas so like let me turn around as you can see so they get out of the way out of the way come on you need to go out of the way there's one that's active. There's one I got rid of, but he moved it. They moved over here. And that can happen too. So you can just pour or you can step on it. I like to step on it and make them angry. So they all start coming out. So some of that yummy Dawn soap. I'll come back and water it later. Let's go see if we find some more. See, there's another one I did. And another one. Right there. Some other ones. Right there. See, here's one I did, and they moved out. So, make them mad again. Some of these are red ants, and some of these are black ants. Alright, so there's a really big one where they spread out. I'm going to come back and pour some water on them. This creek's pretty. I wish I could zoom in, show you how pretty it is. I didn't see any over here. But I know there's another one up here. Right around this area here. So here's a little one right there. So all the ant mounds that I know that we have and you can even let it just sit on there and wait for it to rain if you don't want to use water um, sometimes they'll just vacate they just don't like the smell of it so but if you want to get rid of them fast and gone go ahead and add the water or put it on right before it rains and let the rainwater wash it in. But anyways, Dawn soap, or you know, another brand name. And this is the 60 ounce, and that's how much I use so far. But I've been using this one to do the other mounds, so I've done about eight to ten mounds, and that's all I've used. Anyways, I 
hope you guys enjoyed the video hope you learned something and uh anyways just have a sunshiny day and subscribe if you haven't already and we have an instagram facebook page kyle which is a cooking channel we are on bright yarn and rumble and i think that's about it anyways check us out we look forward to seeing you bye everyone